was there a particular moment in your development where you thought I can do this full time professionally and and make a good living? Was there was there a game or a, or a, somebody a coach in your life or was there a moment where you felt that? I never felt like uh, at exact moment that I could live of it because I never I never thought that football is my job. It was just uh, the love, and I never thought that one day I could be living of it, just uh, to play it and to be professional in in some way and then let's see how how it goes but luckily it went uh, very well and that you that you can be able to like you said to provide for your family doing the thing you love is really uh, a pleasure and an amazing feeling does that sound like anything you know your experience with that natural love of football and and that kind of thing yeah is that how it was for you i think some um what matteo said there he, he'd never seen it as a job through, you know, yeah. it was a thing, and it's the very same coming up in Scotland. I knew nothing different than than playing football. That was everything I wanted to do. And um, obviously, going down to Arsenal as a young kid, even then, I didn't I didn't see it as a job. I just loved doing what I was doing. Um, and you know, football it's it's a special thing because it it brings out different things in different people. And to be able to go and do it for a living, it's it's something that's special, and you never take for granted. So you moved from Croatia to to Inter Milan at quite a young age. What was that experience like? That must be quite tough. Yeah, first of all, I I moved from Austria where I was born to born Croatia there. when yeah. I was when I was 12 and then yeah, when I was 18, I thought I would not move so quick to be honest because I loved I loved the life in Zagreb and to be close to my family and friends, but uh, when I was 18, the club decided that the offer was was good and that I had I had to move on, so I went to Inter, which is never easy for a for a young kid to to live the family, everybody, and go go play in a league where the pressure was straight on. But I uh, really enjoyed my, my time there. And yeah, like I said before, luckily it went all all good. What was sorry? What was that like going from Zagreb to a club like Inter Milan, walking into that changing room the first day as, a, as an 18 year old? Difficult, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, because you come as a kid, you watch these players on television. Then I came straight in and it, it was the last day of the winter uh, transfer window. So like it would, there was no preparation straight in and straight to the to the games and what was not easy. I remember my my agent uh, when when we came into the room and we signed and everything. He just told me now go into your room and cry, which I said Phew. and it really happened. I just went into my room and like all the emotions, the emotions uh, came yeah. out because you know it's it's nice to go to a big club but still you you have emotions for your friends, family, and you will now not see them for a long time. So it's it's not easy, but yeah, uh, it's it's football and you have to move on. What's it like playing at the, the San Siro? I've been there once. As, I as love a it. Fan. Spectacular. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I really, this stadium is, is special. Uh, if I had to choose one stadium that I I love and I would play always would be the, the San Siro because it was my first, let's say, big stadium and I just, I just loved to play there every second, really. Yeah, it's a beautiful stadium as well. It is. Yeah. City is beautiful. The club is amazing. It's really, it's, and the, the people as well, the Italians, they are so passionate and really, I really loved it there. Yeah. But I was going to ask you because Pep often says, you know, he played, Pep played in Italy for, yeah. for a short period, uh, obviously played in Spain. And he says in England, the, the pressure is, not not the pressure, but the, the intensity of like the press and the fans and, and the culture around football is less here. He actually prefers it. It's a bit more relaxed. and, and that, is that Would you share that, given you've I been in Real Madrid? Yeah, into, yeah. I, I agree with him 100%. Here is like the people, that's so nice. Uh, they respect you for like, you are the football player, they respect you for, for that. And in Italy, it's like a lot of pressure. If you don't play good, uh, you're not allowed to go to restaurants. I mean, you're allowed, but be better don't do thing, it. Yeah. Better stay <laughs> yeah. at home. And if if there is a tough moment, the fans, they can come to the to the training, training ground and have yeah. a little bit of like argument with the players, did which that, is did okay. Did that happen? Did that happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I was at Inter where it was a rough period. Yeah. We were not so good in the league, like finishing seventh, sixth, fifth. Inter was used to, to win. And so it's not it's not easy, but I grew up with that, uh, with this pressure. You have to be always uh, on top and that's how it is. I saw nothing you strange. Because you, you were at City when City was struggling a little bit. Yeah. Certainly more than that's been know, seven. Yeah. If we'd have been seventh in the yeah. league, we, we would have been very we'd have happy. Swam the channel. Did definitely. you have any fans <laughs> coming to, to Main Road and having it out with you? Or Yeah, a few times. I mean, I remember the 
the old old training ground at, at Platte Lane. Um, it was a well, it was a community pitch. It wasn't even the club's own training pitch. Oh really? Yeah, and if we'd lost on the Saturday, the fans used to come on the Monday yeah. and literally stand from here to there away from the training pitch and let you know exactly what they thought about you. Good. Um, you were one of them, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was that. Yeah. So we look at, you know, we, we went through your CV before, um, obviously in, in, in research for this, and you, you've you've had quite an amazing career. And obviously you, you, after Inter Milan, you go to Real Madrid. What's the pressure of that like? Because everyone talks about Real Madrid as being kind of probably the biggest uh, in terms of pressure. Did you Did you find that? Was it the intensity? You feel the pressure in training as well. Really, it was like this club is all about winning. It was like winning, winning, training, everything, but you need to win. And maybe in my career, I would have chose a different way probably if I need to go it all again because I went straight from big club pressure, big club pressure. I didn't have like the... Uh, for me, for young players, they need to grow, you know, to yeah. grow, to go maybe to a n- league that is not so tough, let's say, and then go, st- go step by step. I went from step one, step Bang. five straight, but yeah. it's it's what it is. But yeah, the pressure there was really was really big. And uh, uh, luckily at that time, we won everything I- in three years. So so it was nice. But when, when the moment is tough, you can feel that the, the pressure is on and the stadium is is as well you s- i think you saw it now as well when you played it's, it's when amazing yeah it's yeah. really so loud in there isn't yeah. it yeah yeah but i think to be honest now the city has this like aura a little bit like like madrid used to have it in in this in these years where they won three champions leagues in a row I, I think city can get to a stage where it's the same you know now when you also play not perfect you win the games because you are just uh, you have like the it's experience yeah, yeah well, you it? just have the power and city is winning a lot in the recent years, so I think now they can do the same in Europe as well. I to, think to dominate. Why not? Some of the best atmospheres over the last couple of seasons have been Champions League nights as well. So yeah, I think, I think the City fans realise yeah, realise that they're there now. You know, I think previously because of where we were and where yeah. we came to, it's like we didn't belong. Yeah. Whereas now, no. I think the fans. Yeah. I think when you play at the Bernabeu, you can uh, you can tell when it's a league game, when it's a Champions League game. It's yeah, big big difference. Yeah.